Hello again, Jean Luc. Uh, this is another example um, to check um, a difference I found with the uh, lateral navigation mode with the nav mode from the software and what is happening in real life. Let me explain you what I have found. Um, this will be my example. I will be departing from Lima, uh, throw away 15, 155 degrees, and um, then I make my turn and continue all the way my turn. My example goes with the direct to feature. Let's say your example will be you will depart with heading 150 and then uh, control tells you uh, maintain runway heading and then it gives you a vector to go radial 240 heading 240 to intercept the radial 180. So what will happen is uh, after my departure I will have heading 150 right and all stuff right and my my instructions was to have heading 240 to come through radial 180 from India Mike 923 so and I'll say direct to India Mike 923 and I will say I will come through radial 180 okay this is what I have been drawn right so uh, you, I remember I said 150 and then I say, okay, and at any time while I'm turning towards heading 240, I will press the radial in. So when I do that, the plane will fly that thing, and I will have the heading, the nap blue, and my FCU will hold the 240 and have the lateral navigation. What I have in software is, for example, if I was departing heading 150, and then I got the instructions, okay, turn right heading 240. I did 240. My plane was crossing 194, and at that point, captures the heading. So the instruction is not valid for the FCU. So that's the thing we need to change. I have to come to the FCU, set to 40 again, and then continue. But the feature is not modeled as in real life. So you can see this is what we expected to, but in the, in the software is not happening. I have the heading in that blue, but the heading value at that point has been captured, which is not accurate. 